Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I might does this. Today I'm going to be opening Pokemon Celebrations Prime Collection. You can only get this box from Amazon in the US and Game in the UK. I managed to bag myself one, which I'm very, very happy about. But this thing, as you can see, is huge. This is huge. That's what she said. Like, <laughs> it's big. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get it. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to open it on on top cam, top view cam. So. Uh, I don't want to do this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sorry about that, just turn the mic. Okay. Alright, hopefully I can open this. What about... How does this work? It. I'm gonna have to move the mic out a little bit. Hopefully, audio doesn't get, you know, pushed out or drowned. This is not going to work. I can't see what I'm looking at. You know what? I'll pull out the content, guys, and I'll show you on the table. Alright, so first things first, what you get is. A card, I guess, a page telling you about the Pokemon Prime. Um, I'm gonna leave it for those who want to read it themselves, but you know what? I'll read it myself as well. So, Pokemon Prime. Pokemon Prime made their debut in the Pokemon TCG, Park Gold, and Soul Silver series. In terms of gameplay mechanics, these Pokemon didn't add anything new to the Pokemon training card game, but don't let that distract you from how great these Pokemon were. Pokemon Prime are remembered fondly for their excellent artwork, typically featuring a Pokemon bursting out of the card frame with a glint in its eye, or sometimes on a different prominent feature, such as a tooth or an apple. These cards were stronger than normal Pokemon, and some of the popular ones, such as Magnezone and Typhlosion, were used in World Championships winning strategy. Strategies. Strategies. The Pokemon Prime were first released, hundreds of the Pokemon we know today hadn't been discovered yet. It was very early in the history of Pokemon World. That's what makes the Dracopoke Prime pictured here so special. This Pokemon from the Gala region gets to show off its amazing look as a Pokemon Prime. And don't forget about those creepy. And that's the um, promo page, I guess. Moving on, you get come on. Damn. A gold coin with a Pikachu and a 2-5. Let's set them down there. Um Three celebrations pack, chilling rain, and a vivid voltage. Just second that down right there. And your Dracopult Prime promo card. I really do like that silver border around it. Really nice, really nice. Um, where's my sleeves? Where's my sleeves? Let me see you up today. I don't remember much from my childhood about the Prime Era. Prime Era. So I can't really put much on this. But it is a really nice card. And there's the glint in his eyes that they were talking about. So, Prime, you sit right there. Here is your collection prime board card. You also get a, a 
think this is a jumble binder. Yep, it is a jumble binder. I'm going to be putting some of the contents that I'm going to get in this, which I'll show you in a second. It's like the jumble one that you got from back a while ago with the other release. But I think there's a slight difference. Hold on, let me just pull out my one. Give me a second, guys. Slight difference. The tail is slightly larger. Train on and the Pikachu is bigger. And it's got more yellow in it. Yeah, so it's different. This I'm going to use for the um, celebration jumbles. So that will come in good use, guys. Using that for my jumbles, right? Um, do I keep these on screen? I might as well, right? There's no reason not to. And then you also get this Dracopult Prime binder, four page binder, which I'm probably going to use for promos. Yes. This Prime Collection box consists, consists of two things. They mixed it up. Um, it's the Dracopult Prime Collection and the uh, Collector's Chest. Yes, the Collector's Chest in one box so I'm gonna have two of these one of them is gonna be for the promos and one of them is gonna be for my V Union cards yeah so let's leave you right there and then looking at these now are these even gonna fit in the binder should I test it Oh no, they will fit. Yeah, they'll fit. You got a Mimikyu, Delta Species, Jumbo Card. You're thinking why is Mimikyu a water type, but I think that's what the Delta Species was about. And then you got a Light, Tox light Toxtricity. That's a really nice card. That's a really nice card. This was, I don't even remember, I really don't remember what set this was in. Oh, look at that swell. You see it? Show, 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 show. There you go, right there is a swell. Cool. And then I had Dragon C. This was, I have no idea. And then the jumbo version of the Jackapot Prime. I'm definitely going to do all these on screen and show this to me, you know what? I'm doing. And final thing is the Plexus Chest. This, yeah, let me bring my mic back in now. Here we go. There you go. This Plexus Chest doesn't actually release in the UK. I don't even, I think maybe even worldwide, at least to the 22nd of October. So it's an early look at the collector's chest as well. This is the only way you can get it early, I think. Well, I don't know if you can get it anymore because they probably sold out. But yeah, this is the only way you can get it early in the UK. So let me set this aside for now. Oh, shut up. No, let me. There's way too much stuff on the bloody table. I'm going to set this aside, open these packs first, and then move all of that across. Yeah. I'm all over the place. I'm so excited as well. But I don't know how to set this because the bloody contents is so much. I want to showcase all of it for you guys. Yep. So I took out the binder, guys. Just left the jumbo cards there, jackpot there, the coin there. Let's crack these packs open first. So starting with Vivid Voltage. Since this is nostalgia, I'm going to do it like I did back in the day when I was 8 years old. Getting my first pack. Oh my days, why is it so hard to open? There you go. I'm not going to slow roll it, I'll just do it the old way, which I'm pretty sure no one did the card trick back in the day. 
So, Chateau, Jote, Potini, Mudbury, Logmore, Reverse Reporio, nice. Bringing me back to Evolving Skies, which I haven't opened in a while because I don't have any. And a Fortress. Lightning Energy, Nessa, Rollo, Step Strike. And Chilling Rain. Aerocross. Sobu. Okay. Over. Spore Bunny. Reverse Barnet. And Warring. Darkness Energy. Disabled. Earlier. Agatha. And this is what we've been waiting for, guys. Celebrations, celebrations. I have opened up already two Elite Trainer boxes just before this video because I'm going to do my whole celebrations opening in one sitting. But obviously, I'm going to leave the most expensive and the most hyped for last. So, technically, what you're going to see is this one first, and then the Elite Trainer box last, and so on and so on. So, let's get into our first pack of celebrations. If you guys are enjoying the content, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. I very much appreciate if you do. And I'll try my best to provide you with good content. So, first one, Lugia. Zekrom. Uh, uh classic card if i'm gonna get one should be here which first pack magic guys first pack magic here Let's comes team rocket Ooh. from one of my favorite sets right i think it is i think it is first pack magic guys here comes team rocket and the zashio and v Yahoo! double banger where am i sneeze right there I am so excited, so excited. Oh my days. This nostalgia run is just oof, going to be epic. Imagine pulling when I pull that Charizard. When? Or should I say if I pull that Charizard? Alright, let's have a look for Mimikyu. No, it's fine. Be inside. Of course, I'm going to leave my chase cards right there. Right there. Did I show you the Pokemon? No, I didn't. But, of course, the top three, the, the classic three, the starters. Um, Dialga. Why is my bloody monitor going to sleep? Um, Dogaleo. Yeah, before I got rudely interrupted. Um, the top three, of course, the, the starters, the top Charizard, Venus, or Blastoise. Um, Dark Gyarados, and I think Rocket Zapdos. Those are my five chase cards. Only because my favorite set is the Rocket set, obviously. And Gym Heroes, which I think the Rocket Zapdos is from. Gym Heroes and Gym Leaders, I don't remember. Dialga. Rashiram. And a ho -Oh. And the final card is... Pull out Pikachu. Let's oh, go! nice. This one, guys, is the original base set. So it was, it was like this whole hole with the, the box. But they turned it into a full art. You see the Parasect. They've got a Caterpie peeking there. Toasty! And that is actually an Oddish. I don't know if you can see the blue there. Look, you can see his blue little bubble body, where we call it. Oddish. Nice. That's the Pikachu. Alright. Um, let me just clear up these... Jumbos. Get them out of the way. And then I'll open up the collector's chest. 
and we are back now that there's space i can bring in my good luck charms as well my houndoa my houndoom and my shiny houndoom right, so this is the case packed with pokemon treasures i'll leave it there so you can read it but i'm going to show you all the contents anyway there's the back And let's crack this thing open. <laughs> Don't want to damage my monitor, so I'm trying to be careful. You know what? Huh? Alright, so fail. Here's your coin. This one's actually different than the Dragapult Prime one. It has the confetti slash stars. Or whatever you want to call it, shiny pot. Yep, so let's put you right up there. And you have your Oh dear. Uh, how am I gonna do this without damaging the cord? I think. Bend it. Yeah, there you go. That came out nicely. But this one's well off center. Look at that. Wow. Here's your Delta Species, Delta species Mimikyu in normal form. Okay, there you go. Slide out. Your Hydreigon C, level 61, in a smaller form of center as well. <clears throat> and your Light Toxicity. Oh, saying this bloody Pokemon's name is the tongue stuff. Light Toxicity. There you go. And this one's perfect centered. Yeah, this one's in good condition. Actually, I say it's perfect sending, but not in the back. All right, so let's put those down. Um, you get your one, two, three, four, five, six celebrations pack. So nine all together in this chest, and then you get your battle stars, your vivid voltage. And the full card. So two normal sets. Cost thousand with voltage. I'm just pull this up. Yeah. Sticker. Oh, I'm not putting it in there. No. Side right there. Another sticker. I think I might have to put these to use. These are actually quite nice. More stickers. This time with the Pikachu's face on it. The 25. Even more stickers. I think I'm definitely going to use these. I don't normally like sticking stickers on my stuff, but I might have to use these. And then you get a notepad. I'm definitely going to use this for writing some notes down. Yep. Nice. Notepad. Alright. And a mini binder. Let's see. I can either use this for my promos or. Yeah, I can use these for my promos. Yeah! How many does it fit? I might have to use the mini binder for the promos guys, instead of the Dragapult. This is actually nice. It's cute as well. Right, let's put your side. And... Um, let me close this. Here is your explanation of the Light Pokemon. Light Pokemon. The Neo Destiny expansion brought us light Pokemon. That's where it's from, Neo Destiny. 
the luminous counterparts to the evil dark Pokemon. These Pokemon tend to be gentle and kind in nature, favoring attack attacks that aid you or your Pokemon rather than doing lots of damage in battle. Light Pokemon are often depicted with bright illustrations and they are often seen smiling or helping other Pokemon. Now to be honest, when you think of tox Toxtricity, you probably picture it as a rebellious Pokemon with a punk rock vibe, right? Not your first choice for a gentle soul, well that's part of the story. But now we get to see this Pokemon in another light. Light, to light Toxtricity shows us that even the toughest Pokemon can, can, can have a softer and friendlier side. And that's Light Pokemon guys from Neo Destiny. Delta Species Pokemon, the Pokemon TCG X Delta Species expansion took us on a journey to a city named Holon in a faraway land. In this mysterious city it's said that magnetic powers had a strange effect on Pokemon that changed their types and these became known as Delta Species Pokemon. Using the whatever symbol that is, Delta Species symbol to denote a Delta Species Pokemon. This arrow brought us wacky things like a Metal type Pikachu, a Fighting type Execute and even a Lightning type Rayquaza. Many fans look back fondly at Delta Species Pokemon as one of their favourite and most memorable Pokemon TCG, TCG mechanics. In more recent times it seems like that Mimikyu has visited the city of Holon. Rumours claim that it travelled there on a quest to change its type so that it could be more like a certain yellow mouse Pokemon. Pikachu! And look at that. Mimikyu Delta Species does not in Delta Species EX indeed does indeed appear to be different type than usual, but maybe not the type it was hoping for. And finally, Pokemon SP. A special Pokemon arrived in the Platinum expansion and they brought a long lasting influence on the course of the Pokemon TCG. Like the many owners Pokemon from the past, these cards these cards featured unique names and included images of their trainers on the card. However, instead of being named after the trainer, they were put into a group, such as Pokemon G for Team Galactic, Pokemon GL for Gym, Le Gym Leader, and so on. For example, Garchomp C was a champion's Pokemon, with Cynthia by its side as its trainer. Even if the Pokemon was normally an evolution Pokemon, all the, all the Pokemon SP were basic Pokemon, such as the Garchomp C mentioned earlier. These cards were dominant in competitive play for years. With Luxury GL and many others featured prom prominently in World Champions decks. Here we see Hydreigon show up as a Champions Pokemon in Hydreigon C. This Pokemon SP features the Champion of Unova, Iris, Iris, Iris as his trainer. Maybe that makes you wonder what other incredible Pokemon trainer duos could have existed as Pokemon SP. And after that very long read, guys, it's time to get into the goodness. First, I need some water after reading that. Let's sleeve up these promos. Oh, yeah, of course, I'm using celebration promos from the ETB. The only reason I did the ETB open the ETB first is so that I can get these out. And I didn't want to just open it just to grab it. So I might as well just done that video first. So kill two birds with one stone, I guess. And let's start with battle stops. Nope, no Patrick, no Pro, Epic, Corn Edge, Electabuzz, Bow Toy, Reverse My Wow, and a Clado. Psychic, Hydra, Birdo, Burner Vitality. And Vivid Voltage. Ryoba, Oshawott, Oscar, Terraseed, Riolu, Reverse Opal, and a Yan Mega. So these didn't have no bonus stuff for me. And moving on, we've got six celebration packs.
pulling that Charizard is going to be the best feeling ever. It's gonna flood and bring so many memories. And Charizard was actually my first out of the three that I pulled. And not even that many packs to be honest. When I when I was a kid I opened maybe a few and pulled it within those few. And the way I screamed, the way I ran around the house. Boy, it was amazing. Epic. Oh oh. Let's go! And another Team Rockets. Here comes Team Rocket. Wow. And that I pulled both from the first pack in it, right? Wow. And the professor's Let's research go! block. Nice. Double banger again. You right there. And moving on. Can you imagine pulling the gold Mew and the Charizard in one pack? Or the gold Mew and then the Mew to the Mew EX in one pack? That would be epic. And I hope that epicness epicness can happen to me. Crowd on. And a flying Pikachu. Yahoo! I'm so excited and so like mind not processing I j even then I don't know what I just said my mind's not processing properly I had to sleeve the free buddy regular sets I'm so excited I just can't find it Crowd on. Evelto. Ooh, Let's there's our classic go! card, the Play Doh. Nice. And double banger, double banger. No, nope. Professor's Research. That Professor's Research is nice. I like how that the hand comes out. They should do that with more. Um, let me try to find an example. Yeah, maybe this Evelto. See his tail? Maybe they should have made it come off the border. The box. And then it's some indentation or something to make it look. I don't know. Better. Play doh, play doh, play doh, play doh. Let's just put it in there. Go back in halfway through. Oh, that was an easy one. Nice. Like it, like it. Kyogre. If you guys are currently enjoying the opening, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Thank you very much. Cosmo Wim. Kyogre. And a Mew. Or, I don't know if you can do it. Imagine pulling this Mew, the Mew EX, and the Gold Mew in one pack. Now that would be fire. Second to lock pack. Yes, open nicely. Cosmog. Cosmoem. Can I pull a free evolution banger? Zephrom. No, I can't. Zephrom. Hold on, one of my favorite legendaries, if not my favorite. Xerneas. Wow. Go! Three here comes Team Rockets in this opening. Wow. Yahoo! And the Fallout Pikachu. Did I pull this one in this? Yeah, I did. Wow. I don't, I'm not gonna spoil it, but when you guys finally see that. 
opening the Elite Trainer Boss one. I pulled three of something else in that one as well. Sorry, Hondo. I pulled three of the same card in that opening as well. You're not gonna believe it. All right, so recap. We have. I'm gonna just do them in any order. Screw it. So. Dragon Pulp. Mimikyu. And Dragon C. Like Toxicity. Toxtricity. Here comes Team Rocket. Another one. And an another one. Zashian V. Another one. Flying Pikachu. Full out Pikachu. Another full out Pikachu. Professor's Research. And the Clay Doh. Wait. No, yeah, so that's only four. Three of the same one. Classic hits in this in this. It would have been nice if I didn't get three of the same one. Alright. And that concludes the video guys. If you stuck with me to the end, if you like what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. And I will see you on the next one. Peace. Rip your ears.